Cooper in 1893. It's the oldest trophy in the history of world hockey. But who will be the 1999 winner? Three Rock Rovers were in irresistible form in the semi-final against Liz McGarvey. Goals from Christian Judd and Gordon Elliott helping them to a 2-1 win. For Cork Church of Ireland, it's the chance to win their first Irish Senior Cup in 30 years and coach Dennis Pritchett believes they can do it. It'll be a very tough game. I mean, the cup finals are always tough. But it just not the best team wins cup finals, unfortunately. Um, they're a good team. They're, we're in it last year, which is bound to be a benefit. Them, and they're coming off the back of a major European competition, which will have them sharp and good team spirit, you know? So I think we'll be the night of the day. Right? Well, the teams are on the pitch. It's time to hand you over to match commentator, the former Irish international, Trevor Watkins. And here we have Three Rock Rovers in their team huddle, their final chat before the off. Key players to be watching for Three Rock will be their international players, Robin Madeley, their captain, Liam Canning, one of the top forwards in the country, and their younger players, Gary Ringwood and Gordon Elliott up front. And now Church of Ireland from Cork playing in their first final since 1974 when they lost to Three Rock Rovers. And the key players here will be uh, Ger Burns at the back, a very experienced defender with 76 international caps. And in midfield, Nigel Buttermer, their captain, and Alistair Dunn, one of the top Irish players on form at the moment. And it's Three Rock Rovers to start the 1999 Nissan Senior Cup final. It's done lot. On ball, well intercepted. Chambers for CI. A long ball down the wing and out of play. Two balls on the pitch. The umpire calling for a hold till one is removed. Taken quickly and Madeley pushed in the back. Takes a quick free for three Rock Rovers. Finding his front runners. Just losing his footing. Gordon Elliott, one of their top front runners, just losing his footing in this early skirmish. And it's Ger Burns for CFI with the hit. A lot will depend on Burns today at the back four, Cork Church of Ireland. And it's Elliott. And Elliott wins the push in for three Rock Rovers. And it's Black. Black, good weaving run by Black, takes it inside to Colin Hanna, to Hales, Hales moving forward from the back, good move here, just a slack last pass, oh, one of the Three Rock players, been called over, it looks as though that could be the first card of the game, and it's for Gary Ringwood, Gary Ringwood, number 13, has picked up a green card, and number 14, two Three Rock Rovers players, Alan Bothwell and Gary Ringwood, pick up the first warning of the game. A further warning, and they will be off for in the sin bin for up to 15 minutes. And first star play again, and it's Dunlop to Harris. Harris looking for the long ball to find his front runners, deflected through. Well picked up by Ger Burns. Nice touch through by Black, and it's Bottomer. Deflected off the rover stick, and it's a long corner. The last four or five minutes, they've had much the better of the game. Beginning to settle down now and find their rhythm, and it's Carl Burns. Poor pass by Burns, picked up by Elliott, but he recovers well. Good play by Burns, wins the free, just on the 22, taken quickly. Done for Cork to Buttermer. Cork captain. Good skills by Buttermer. Wins the free in, just outside the circle. Into the circle, well taken by Walker. That was an important stop by Walker in the three rock defence. And a long clearance deflected by Canning. And that's gone out for a hit out now to Cork. Joe Burns to Black. The Black dispossessed and it's Ringwood in a bit space to Canning. Good skills by Canning, good control. And Bothwell. 
and Bothwell wins the penalty corner. Total concentration required by the defence. And it's sixed up by Harris, and it's Madeley. Switch, Ringwood, back in a switch again, and the goal! Halling has put three left rovers ahead. A well-worked penalty corner move. Switch from Madeley to Ringwood, and back into Canning, who tucks it away in the bottom right-hand corner, past Bateman. Three Rock Rovers won, Cork Church of Ireland nil. Andrew Walker. Ball tackle back by Dunn. Ringwood to Madeley. Good ball through by Madeley for Canning to chase. Bateman is out, he may have to play this, he does. Outside the circle with his stick. Gives away the hit in 2 3 Rock. Bateman takes up his position immediately again. Madeley having a fine game at right midfield. He's fouled. Another danger position here for Cork. Elliot. Madeley. Madeley. Ball deflected up over Cork. Stick it allows the ball to run to Canning. And it's knocked out by a Cork player for a long corner. Madeley with the hit in. Long flat hit into the danger area. Well picked up by Hales. Oh, and he's caught napping. Welch is caught napping. Canning inside. Great save by Bateman. It's in the net. It's in the net. Deflected in. See if I are saying it's in off the back of the stick. But it's number nine, Christian Judd has put three Rock Rovers 2-0 in the lead. Neil Welch caught napping on the right side of the field. The ball delivered in by Canning. The faintest of touches past Bateman by Judd gives three Rock a commanding 2-0 lead in the 23rd minute. Moving forward as support from Black on the right. Back inside to Dunn. The momentum lost. Off Ringwood's foot on Parallel's advantage. Lovely ball through, and it's Chambers on the left. His control letting him down. Umpire says play on. It's Chambers. Chambers at a penalty corner. Penalty corner for CMI, and a very good move again, leading to Chambers attacking the circle on the left side. And it's Burns. Done. Saved by Shane Davy. Back to Carl Burns, and he just clips it wide. Another opportunity lost there for Cork. But they're now beginning to find a few holes in the Three Rock defence. And chances are coming their way. Diving deflection by Hales for Canning's pass. It's Canning to Dunlop. The Irish cricket captain. Playing a very solid role at right half here for Three Rock today. And it's Ger Burns. Long ball forward. Just picked up by his opposite... Player, Ross Harris. Well controlled by Elliot, but it just runs off his stick. Chambers with the hit in for Cork. Back to Burns. Good ball by Burns. Allowing Colin Hanna to chase one handed, and Hanna one handed cuts inside Walker. And he's fouled just inside the 22. Buttermer is up quickly to take it, has support from Black. Buttermer. But we're looking to get through. Good tackle, good tackle by Madeley. But the ball breaks to Black. Good ball in. It just fails to find Darren Hanna. Much more positive play now from Cork Church of Ireland. Beginning to get right into this game, having gone 2-0 down. And that's a free in just outside the circle for a lifted ball. Just under 30 seconds to go to half time. Good effort by Chambers. It's into the circle, Dunlop knocks it out over the back line, a long corner. The time ticking down, the clock ticking down here now at the end of the first half. And it's done to Buttermer. Good ball in by Buttermer, deflected in. And three rock clear it again, and it's away with Judd. Good ball, and there's the half-time hooter in this Nissan All-Ireland Cup final. And the score is three Rock Rovers, two goals from Canning and Judd. Cork Church of Ireland, nil. And the second half getting underway here at Belfield with the score at half-time. Three Rock Rovers, two Cork Church of Ireland, nil. And it's three Rock on the defensive at the moment. 
and it's Maidley who had a fine first half for Three Rock Rovers, a real captain's role to try and get this breakthrough, get them back in the game. Has had to do a lot of running with very little reward to date. Long ball down, finds Ger Burns in the Cork defence, sent straight back, but it's intercepted by Maidley. Maidley to Ringwood, miss hit pass by Ringwood. It's David Hobbs, and Hobbs dispossessed by Dunlop. Dunlop stronger in the tackle there, bringing his experience to bear. Miss Chambers up quickly to take the hit in. And Neville Foote just coming on as a substitute for Cork. Cork now beginning to ring the changes to see if they can get the right formula to break the duck. Maidley. And Three Rocks possession of the ball, much better than Cork's. And that's giving them the opportunity to control the pace of the game. And a good ball forward finds Colin Hanna. Hanna in the danger. Great skills by Hanna. Flicks it over Shane Davey. Play on, says the umpire. And it's Harris comes away with the ball for Three Rock. Great individual skills by Colin Hanna, but no further support. And it's Elias who's fouled. Who fouls Buttimer. Buttimer looking to take the free quickly for Cork. Done to Buttimer. Good through ball. Hanna again. Danger player turns the defender. Inside the circle here again, and it's Hannah, and he wins the penalty corner. Great skills by Colin Hannah here. It's almost a one-man show for Cork to try and get them back in this game. And it's Cork's third penalty corner of the game. Ger Burns with the push. Carl Burns with the stick stop. The three rock defence. Alert on the goal line, waiting to break, and it's done, done, and it's deflected in! It's a goal by Black, a well-worked penalty corner, and Cork Church of Ireland have opened their account, and it's Cork Church of Ireland 1, 3 Rock Rovers 2, 7 minutes into the second half. The game is now alive and wide open. Taken quickly, Dunlop. Dunlop a long ball forward, Ger Burns dummies over the ball, lets it out over the back line. And that'll be a hit out, taken by Burns himself. Chambers. Chambers, a nice ball down the left sideline. Buttimer. Buttimer now. He's winning. He's won the last couple of jousts with Maidley. Inside. Inside the Hobbs. Oh. And it's a free in. A stick play on its cork now, putting the pressure on. Chambers looking to take the free in. Ray O'Connor, the umpire, pulling the ball back. It was he who saw the foul. It was the initial obstruction on Chambers when he burst through there. Now it's done with the free for Cork. Players moving off the ball in the circle. Cleon says the umpire right into the circle. Opportunity here. And it's Hannah. Darren Hannah to goal. A goal scored by Darren Hannah. Cork GMI 2. Three Rock Rovers to Cork's second goal in three minutes, and the game is alive. Just over halfway through the second half, Cork Church of Ireland two, Three Rock Rovers two in this Nissan Irish Cup final. And it's Dunlop coming away, using his strength to come away with the ball, wins the hit in. And the crowd now getting behind either side here. Crowd of almost 2,000 here at Belfield today for the Premier match in Irish hockey. Welch to Dunn, beginning to control matters from midfield. It's Darren Hanna, Hanna again. He's just lost control at a vital stage inside the Three Rock Circle. And it's Rovers away, breaking with Canning. He's got Elliot up in front, good running through by Elliot. Bateman is out, plays the ball, advantage says the umpire, still with Canning. Bateman gets back in, penalty corner. Penalty corner, two, three Rock Rovers. And it's Canning, miss pushes the ball. Buttimer takes it away, it's with Black. Chance to counter attack now for Cork. He flares in support on the left and on the right. Finds Welsh, Welsh in towards the circle.
finds Darren Hannah. Hannah back. This is a good move by Cork. Must be a goal. Great save by Davey. And it's Hannah. Colin Hannah taking on the Rovers defence again. And he wins the free. Free in. Taken by Hannah. He leaves it for Chambers. Good quick ball. Switched in by Walsh. And it's a goal. It's a goal. Darren Hannah has put Cork in the lead. Darren Hannah's second goal. A lovely move. Switched in by Neil Welch. The Rovers defence. Let it go across the face of the goal. And Darren Hannah diving in. Touches it past Shane Davy. Three Cork C of I. Three. Three Rock Rovers. Two. And on comes Johnny Sleeman for Three Rock Rovers. Is this the last toss of the dice? And it's Judd. The Judd's just dispossessed. Bottom are now in total control over there. Maybe has faded out of the game for Three Rock Rovers. And it's C of I who are the stronger side at the moment. Colin Hanna down the line, just too wide for Mark. Sense of urgency now creeping into Three Rock Rovers' play, but that could also lead to errors. And it's Elliot, who's been everywhere in the game for Three Rock. And Sleeman, Sleeman out to Judd. Judd probing, looking for the ball, deflected high. Advantage played by the umpire to go! Advantage by the umpire, deflected up off a cork stick. The goalkeeper clashing with Canning, the ball breaking the Canning, and he lifts it into the net. What a thrilling match we've had here so far at Belfield. Six goals. And we're coming down into the last. The crowd are counting down the last seconds of the half. Ten seconds. And it's with Cork. And the crowd cheering Cork in. Last seconds, and there goes the final hooter. Normal time. Cork Church of Ireland 3, 3 Rock Rovers 3. Extra time will be played. <laughs> three all after normal time. 15 minutes each way. And there are some tarred legs out there already, and this is really going to test the fitness of both sides. And it's Dunlop for Rovers. Finding Varian and Varian inside to Sleeman. And Sleeman's dispossessed by Dunn. And Dunn, in turn, dispossessed by, by, by Elliot. Elliot seems to cover every inch of the ground here today. And that's Canning's ball cut out by Ger Burns for Cork and it's Hannah Dar Darren Hannah dispossessed by Canny he finds Varian and it's Burns with the hit out for Cork deep back into his own circle to Hales finds Black Black gets the touch but can't control it sufficiently to keep it in play Andrew Walker into Canning, Canning taking over the captaincy, Maidley's gone off, and that's a great take by Chambers, and a good tackle by Ringwood, but it's a stick foul. Buttermer. Buttermer sees the gap, probes it through, it's into space for Hannah to chase, Dunlop now reverting to the sweeper position, knocks it into Hannah's foot. Dunlop to Ringwood. Back to Dunlop. A three to three Rock Rovers. Dunlop into Canning, who's taken up a midfield role. Bank Walker takes his eye off the ball, but regains control. Good ball retention here by three Rock Rovers. And Walker is fouled, and it's free in. He takes it. Elliot turns the cork defence. Still Elliot looking for Ringwood, chance for Ringwood, and good defensive play by Buttermer. Ball deflects off his stick and out. A lot of effort now being asked by both sides. The next goal could prove crucial. Hits Burns' foot taken quickly right across the face of the court goal, and no Three Rock Rovers player reacting quick enough, and the opportunity is lost.
Cork down with Colin Hanna. Um, the most penetrating forward in the game, although it's his brother who has put away two of the Cork goals. Chambers. Inside, done. Done, looking for support. Players seem to be less reluctant, or more reluctant now to run. And the ball's deflected out over, over, over stick. No, that's a free in. A free in, awarded by Amparo O'Connor. And it's Buttermer. The Cork captain leaves it for Dunn. The sweep hit, lifted ball, free out to three Rock Rovers. Ross Harris. Difficult ball out over the touchline. Almost an impossible ball there for Charles Carroll to take. And it's Dorman for Cork. Looks for Dunn and finds him. It's Bothwell down the line. Play very tight here. But it's Buttermer who breaks through. But a good tackle by Ringwood dispossesses him. Stick tackle by Buttermer. Play continues. It's Sleeman. Sleeman just fails to find Judd and Chambers and errors beginning to creep into both sides now and this could be fatigue setting in on a number of players Black good play by Black control play keeps possession lays it back to Ali Dunn great tackle by Canning and now see Three Rock Rovers on the counter attack. Looks forward for Carroll, but he couldn't get forward quick enough. And the ball goes out for a hit in to Cork down in their bottom left hand corner. Less than a minute to go in the first period of extra time. The pace of the game has dropped somewhat in extra time, but that's not surprising given a thrilling second half here in which there were four goals scored. Both sides now struggling looking to see if they can get what could well be the winning goal in the 1999 Cup Final. Good play by Ali Dunn. Leaves it for Burns. Big hitter Burns. Lovely ball, finds Hales. Again, tiredness creeping in. That is the type of error. Deflects off a stick. Eight minutes to go. Immediate turnaround. The side still deadlocked. Three Rock Rovers, three. Cork Church of Ireland, three. And the second half of extra time is underway immediately. And it's Chambers. Chambers into Black. And Black is taken down by Sleeman. Fifteen minutes to decide who the winners of the 1999 final. Burns, Carl Burns, back on the pitch. He's given a bit of a breather in the first period of extra time. The ball is down there with Bothwell, but he's just possessed by Carl Burns. Good skills by Carl Burns, and he's inside. He wins the free. No, no. Umpire is given a hit out. Burns pleading with the umpire for the free, but hit out to be taken by Dunlop for three Rock Rovers to Walker, very tight, down in the left corner, Walker under a certain amount of pressure, and he could be dispossessed here, and he is, he's given away the free, taken quickly, and Burns unable to control the ball, and it's a hit out again to three Rock Rovers. Walker to Dunlop, and Dunlop's under pressure here, only succeeds in finding Chambers for Cork, Good move here by Cork. Black. Good play by Black. He's first through uh, Walker, and Walker has fouled him, and that'll be a free in to Cork. About seven or eight yards outside the Three Rock Rovers circle. Right across the goal, the chance for Cork. Penalty corner. The umpire deciding no advantage. It was a very dangerous situation in front of the Three Rock Rovers goal, and the ball just not falling to a Cork player. There is sixth penalty corner. Both sides have now had six corners. And they have their top team on now. And this will be Ger Burns with the push out. The Three Rock Rovers defense. Can they defend this corner?
Carl Burns with the stick stop at the top of the circle. Stick stop and it's done. Done, but he's under pressure. The corner's broken down and it's Bottomer. Well cleared by Davy. Good tackle by Bottomer. And it's Bothwell coming away for three Rock Rovers. To Ringwood. Ringwood cuts inside. Looks up for support. Can't find it. He's dispossessed. Uh, and it's Hobbs coming forward and that's a free in. Ringwood fouling Hobbs. And Cork now in the ascendancy in the second half of extra time. Done. Oh, long corner. Ball deflected off a three Rock Rovers defender stick. From Dunn, three hit. And it's Chambers. Chambers in to Hannah. Turning quickly, Davy, nice and cool. Clears it out over the sideline. Black tries to cut back inside to Dunn. Dunn again turning. Finds his captain, Buttermer. Three Rock defenders moving across with the play, and it's Buttermer looking for the break. Again, dispossessing. Good play by Buttermer. But it's a free out. But the CFI Cork players are running very hard for each other. Been an excellent team performance, twice reduced to 10 men. Good skills by Buttermer. Wins the free. Canning tackling back, gives away the free for a little bit of nifty footwork. And it's Buttermer. Buttermer finds Black, and it's Black. Black wins the penalty corner. Wins the penalty corner. Under five minutes to go. Cork seventh penalty corner. The penalty corner team gather in a huddle to decide which move, if this can be the move that takes the cup back to Cork for the first time in 30 years. The umpire stopping time. They take their time to set up. Umpire signals to the bench to start the clock again. And it's Ger Burns. Ger Burns with the push. Carl Burns, Ali Dunn. And the goal! Ali Dunn with a great to the top of the net has put the Cork Church of Ireland into the lead with under four minutes to go and the clock ticks away the cup is ticking its way to Cork the Cork bench are up on their feet their coach Stephen Jackson assistant coach Dennis Pritchard they're there and it's Colin Hannah back on the pitch down the right sideline it's Hannah, can he just they get it across? He holds the ball. 20 seconds left in the cup final. Hannah, using his intelligence, keeps the ball down in the bottom corner. Wins the free. The cup is going back to court. 30 years, 1969. The great Cork triple winning team. And there it goes. Cork Church of Ireland four. Three Rock Rovers three. Cork have won the Nissan All-Ireland Cup Final for 1999. Their bench are on the pitch. There's scenes of great joy here. There's, and scenes of total despair in the Three Rock Rovers bench. They've been beaten for the second year in a row. In extra time, by the odd goal. And the Cork supporters are on their feet. They've travelled up here and waited a long time for a day like this. Now John Dennis, a Cork man himself, presents the All-Ireland Cup to Nigel Butmer of Cork Church of Ireland, the 1999 winners of the Nissan sponsored competition. What a proud day for Cork hockey, and in particular, some of the great Cork hockey families like the Hannas and the Burns to bring the cup back to Cork since 1969. I think our fitness was superb. We've worked hard all year since, since the beginning of the year on our fitness. And I think it paid off in the end. And of course, a, a great winning goal as well. Yes, uh, Alistair's a short corner specialist, and he was, he was hoping he'd pop one in today, and he did, he did the trick. Well, as well as the trophy, you've also got the Man of the Match award, so a very pleasing day for you overall. Very happy, very happy. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming back to Cork, and I'm delighted to bring you home. You got off to a great start, but they, they, they made a brilliant comeback. Yeah, we, 
<laughs> we couldn't believe it either. We, we shocked ourselves almost to be 2 0 up, and then suddenly we thought that we'd better sort of dig in deep. We got ourselves to half time and uh, had a quick chat at half time and, uh, and worked out what we're going to do in the second half. And CFI, to their credit, actually came out very well in the second half and put us under a lot of pressure. And a couple of mistakes, a couple of bit, a bit of nerves, and um, suddenly it's a 2 0 game and they're 3 2 up, and then we came back and it was 3 0. And at the end of the day, it's a great final to be involved in. It's just a, it's a really bad, it's a better pill to swallow, really, at the end of the day. Well, that's it from Belfield for now. We're back with sports tonight again tomorrow at 11.30. We'll leave you tonight with some images of what's been an absolutely thrilling final. <laughs>